kind of ask you what, what Rusty did, but what's it been like the last couple of days, and how did it all kind of start to get crazy? Um, so, you know, a week ago I would have told you that, you know, everything was smooth sailing, I was going to sign with a &M. And you know, no questions asked. And then Sunday, Sunday afternoon, Coach Coley from Georgia texted me, and he he said, "Can you call me?" And at that point, I kind of knew what the deal was. So all right, everybody, we're gonna welcome in the guys from Riverdale High School. And it just kind of from there, I talked to Kirby Smart, talked to uh, Coach Chambers, Coach Coley a lot. Sunday night, the last day of the recruiting period, and. Basically, for the next two days, it was back and forth. You know, it was really it was probably one of the hardest decisions that I've ever made. And at the end of the day, I'm confident in sticking with A&M, and that that's a right choice for me. What was it about Jimbo and staying committed? Right. Well, I've I've developed a really good relationship with Coach Fisher as well as the other coaches, Coach Dickey, the offensive coordinator, Coach Craig, the receivers coach. Um, and just that relationship and knowing that Coach Fisher believes that I can bring a championship to Texas A&M and, and that I can reach my full potential through Coach Fisher definitely played a big part in that. Does his history with quarterbacks make a difference to you? Um, it definitely, the proof is definitely in the pudding. So, you know, the talk is the talk is the truth when he says that he shoots it straight and that's something that I definitely value in him. That's the West. There's no, uh, no slouch. What's it going to be like to play against um, it's exciting. I'm really excited for the opportunity. It's a challenge that I'm that I'm willing to take on, and I know that our class is really good. And you know, those guys are starting to become my brothers. We've kind of started a family, and we're all excited for the challenges ahead of us. And I think that we can take advantage of it. I don't want to take away from your day, obviously. But you said Sunday was when Coach Coley tipped you off that, like, hey, mm -hmm. we. we Right, when they found out that uh, Justin Fields was planning on leaving. Yeah, I mean, just you seen how, how much people were reacting to that news. I mean, was that kind of hard for you to not tell anybody? Or? Uh, a little bit. It was kind of one of those things where the opportunity to play my home, for my hometown was really hard to turn down, but at the end of the day, I had to go to where my opportunity was best. What, just, what is it about Texas A&M that, that excites you about the tradition and everything else there in College Station? Um, just the, I think it's, I think it's a really good program, and I think we're building with Coach Fisher coming in. We had a really good first season, a lot of stuff to build off of, and I think that with everyone we're bringing in and the way that he's been able to develop teams and quarterbacks, I think we're going to be really successful. We found out it's a pretty unique university. Yes, sir. So off, on my official visit, I went to the Midnight Yell, and that was, that was crazy. And at the game, I've gone to the Clemson game and the LSU game this year, two probably the best atmospheres I've ever been to. What about, you already got a guy that's going to be pretty good to learn from him, Kellen Mond. I mean, what have you been able to pick from him? Um, so I've talked to him a couple times, started developing, developing that relationship with him, and I'm really excited to learn from him. Uh, you know, getting there in spring and learning the offense and kind of developing under somebody that's who's already started for one and a half years. So I'm really excited to start learning the game. Does it surprise you uh, when a school like Georgia is having troubles like this at the quarterback position this late, or do you just kind of take it in stride that this is just kind of how recruiting works? Uh, a little bit of everything. You know, Georgia is definitely a really successful football program, so you wouldn't think that would be too hard to get somebody, but at the same time, you know, signing two five-star quarterbacks in a row, that's something that you would think would happen, but at the same time, you know, it doesn't necessarily surprise me just because that's recruiting.